Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within Long War. So, 418 credits in the bank is a nice amount of cash to have on hand. We might want to be spending that on something soon. If we do though, I think we might be spending it on upgrading our mech suit again when it gets upgraded to level 2, so we'll have a tier 3 one ready for action, because that sounds like it'd be pretty awesome. Either that or making another tier 2. Either way though, Let's take a look here at our menu. We're going to scan for activity and see what happens. We've just finished off a UFO shoot down, terror mission, and a uh, exalt attack all in the span of like 24 in-game hours. Okay, I'll give you nine drone wrecks for two engineers. Sure, France. There you go. Let's finish scanning for activity. What else comes up? And a large abduct abductor, nape of the earth in Egypt. Sounds like we're getting an abduction in Egypt. Let's scramble one of our zero kill people here. Let's send Neutron to go take a look at this one. Defensive flight Neutron, we don't want you to get destroyed here. We just want you to go out and take a look at what you see. Engaging bogey. The odds of actually shooting this guy down are basically zero. Target now. Disengaging. Just want to harass them a little. And an alien abduction is reported. Let's take a look. We've picked up multiple requests. Moderate alien activity, 90 Abductions credit reward. Are marked on the hollow globe. This should be entirely manageable. Let's go to Egypt and see how it goes. Let's clear out our team, because right now we've got a bit of a mess as far as classes are concerned. There we go, and try and put something put together something a little bit more coherent. Okoro is ready for this mission if we want to bring them as our officer. We might. I don't see anybody else who's ready to go on this mission, sadly. So let's bring Okoro. I'm not super keen on bringing our high-ranking super soldiers every time, but sometimes you gotta bring people. Nabil is ready for mission. We really want to train up Nabil, so I might bring them as well. And with them chosen, we're going to pick a bunch of lower rank soldiers as well, because that's a lot of really high ranking people. Let's bring Jorgen Berg, hardcore. Who else are we going to bring on this mission? We'll bring a scout. We'll bring a Gouda. Or tech sergeant, though. Let's try and bring somebody lower rank if we can. Actually, that's a lie, right? We don't have any, any low ranking scouts left. If memory serves, we can't take a low ranking person. There's only Hernandez left. And he's still fatigued. So we'll take Cyclops instead. And let's see who else we're going to grab on this mission. We'll grab an engineer. Let's grab Jeff Roberts. We're going to want a gunner. So I'll grab Jimenez. I'm going to assume that Shogun is still not done with fatigue. Yeah, Moreno is still uh, still fatigued for two more hours. Ugh, so close. Bring Chen on board. So we have an assault scout, engineer, gunner, and medic. We still need... A rocketeer. Or I could bring another low ranking person and train them up. I think that's what we're gonna do. Who do we want to bring though? Let's bring Martina Pollack. Because we can get as many grenades as we want, and that's not a problem. Okay, you're geared up. You have basically what you need, so that's good. Nabil has what they need as well. I think they have Aegis armor on already. Yes, they do. Berg, you need some better gear. Let's give you a Titan armor, thank you very much, as well as the appropriate shotgun. That's a scatter laser, not a scatter blaster. Let's make items available, thank you very much. There we go. That sorts that out. Let's give you your shotgun. There it is. Very similar looking weapon, but big difference. You're also going to grab yourself a flashbang grenade and a arc thrower, because we want to be capturing as many aliens as possible. Aguda, you are going to grab yourself a titan armor as well, and you're going to switch that med kit for an arc thrower, and you're going to switch your assault rifle for a pulse rifle. There you go. Okay, Roberts, you are going to grab yourself Aegis armor and switch that assault rifle for a pulse carbine, since we don't actually have a... Uh, Sniper coming on this mission. Roberts, you have the pulse carbine already. Yeah, you're good. Jimenez, though, you need better armor. Grab you some Aegis, and we're also going to give you whoop, the pulse auto blaster and a scope. That's more like it, sir. 
Stax Chen, you are going to need good armor since you're actually a tech sergeant, but I'm okay with that. We're just going to take you anyway. Might as well take some higher ranking people because most of our squad is turning into higher ranking people, so it can't hurt. Paulak, you're going to augment your abilities by grabbing a pulse sten gun and hoping you don't get shot because you're going to have no health. Alright, let's launch this mission and see what happens. Alright, apparently some people still have upgrades waiting. Let's take a look. Ah, yes. The top ranking ability. Akoro, as a highest skill soldier, I don't know what to give you. Vital point targeting is kind of nice, but I think we have to try rapid fire. If it lets us take three shots, because a standard shot with a primary weapon doesn't end the turn, you follow up with two shots with rapid fire, that's three shots in the turn. That's real good. You can't use this one after the other because uh, this is not a standard shot, but that gives you three attacks intentionally, and that's great. We gotta try the rapid fire out. Alright, is that everybody who needs an upgrade? I think so. Let's launch this mission and find out. Hopefully they give us some elites we can capture, because I'd like to get some more of those heavy plasma weapons if at all possible. Has we have a whole We're lot of plasma carbines, not a whole border. lot of anything fancier. We're still picking up transmissions indicating alien movement in one of their major city centers. We should get down there and secure the area ASAP. This is not a great map for us, but we're just going to have to deal with it. Three major buildings, long alleyway, long alleyway, long alleyway. Let's get down there and show them who's boss. This is Big Sky. Strike Are we already seeing enemies? Music sounds like we're already seeing enemies. Oh, we are already seeing enemies. Hello, Muton Pack. Alright, we're gonna deal with you. And Nabil could just shoot one of you and probably kill one. Alak can also see one. I want to bring them towards us, though. Because right now, over there, we can't hit them with a lot of our people. All right, Nabil, melt us one, please. That's a good start. Melting a mutant doesn't even know we're here. And there is an elite in that pod, but I don't think we're going to have a chance to capture them. We're probably going to wind up murdering them horribly before they get anywhere near us. Do you, have, you see any of them yet, Okoro? No, that's sad. You still get two shots, though, because you're going to have that ability to rapid fire, which is awesome. Alright, rapid fire. Murder one of these guys. You have two exposed enemies you can see easily right here. 100% yeah, chance to crit, take him out. I don't need to rapid fire, I probably shouldn't. So it means it's more likely that I miss, but we got him in the first shot anyway, like I kind of expected we would. Probably should not be taking my first shots with our most powerful soldier. Or at least one of, if not the most powerful outright. Chen here has an exposed soldier to target. 67% chance for a hit, 70% chance for a crit. And they miss. Nice try, Chen. Alright, Cyclops, you're gonna move over here. You might flashbang this whole pack, so we have a better chance to try and capture them. Because you should be able to hit all three that are left alive. Yup. Well, that sounds good to me. Reduce their movement and accuracy pretty heavily, so we get a chance to murder them and capture the elite. I'd love to capture as many of these guys as possible, but I don't know how it's exactly going to work out for us. Berg. If I move you over here, what can you see? You can move all the way over to here and take a shot, but you're not likely to be able to do a whole lot else. The cover situation here is not very good. Roberts, you're going to move up and you're going to grenade these guys just to weaken them up for us. Oh, there's another one back there. That's bad. Because we're pretty exposed to him now. That's fine. We're just going to grenade these guys and see what happens. The car might explode if we're lucky. Nope. They're all weakened, though, which I probably should have done first because it makes them a lot easier to kill. 
We could run and gun with Berg and maybe take one of them out. Jimenez could also move up and maybe take a shot from here. It's unlikely though, because of the way the car is set up, it's probably just going to block him. Yeah, that's annoying. But we'll overwatch with you to protect us people over here. Pollack, you're going to move over to here as well, and you're also going to overwatch, I think. Oh, you can see enemies. Okay, well you can kill one of those mutons for us then. Never mind! You have an 8% chance to hit them. Holy cow, that's terrible. Their natural defense and everything makes them basically impossible for you to even hurt. You could grenade them on the other hand, but I kind of don't want to waste those corpses if we have a chance to try and capture some of them. So just take a 43% chance to do some damage to this guy. Hey, that's good. Any damage is good damage, bringing them closer to death. Alright, we're gonna run and gun this turn. Don't know where I want to put you though, Berg. I just need to move you up so you have a chance to shoot at these guys. Let's just move you over here. I'm gonna hopefully tank some damage with you. It's not a great strategy, but I'm just trying to protect my other exposed soldiers here who have less health than you do. Is like 23 on that guy? Alright, kill this one, please. And you missed! That's bad. Thankfully, all three of these guys are flashbangs, so they're unlikely to hurt you. But they might also grenade our team over here, which could be really bad if it blows up the car. Suppression there is fine. This guy has a good chance to hit you, which is why I moved you up to the front. Ooh, eight damage hurts, but that's what I put you there for, so you can tank that damage on your Titan armor. Just as long as nobody else hits you, we'll be fine. Another suppression, that's annoying. And... Is that another suppression? Yes, it is! Okay, that's a whole lot of bad business. Alright, well this is actually not bad for us overall, because we have a pretty decent spot here for what we're trying to do. Berg is going to move up over here, where he's going to have the option to insta-kill one of these guys, most likely. Yeah, move him over here, so he's not going to insta-kill this guy and capture the commander. There's the insta-kill. Alright, melt his face off, please. That's one. Alright, and he still has the option to try and capture the commander. Only a 43% chance right now, but that's not terrible. And then we should be able to finish him off with other attacks. This guy is the biggest concern with regards to actually not being able to kill them. We're going to try for the capture, though. The 43% chance capture. Can I get myself a Muton Elite? Yes, we can. That's a Muton Elite. Fantastic. I want to try and get this one as well. So we're going to count on our awesome reflexes to work out for us here. We're going to run over and capture another Muton so we get another regular-sized plasma rifle. He's also flashbanged. The odds of him actually hitting us were incredibly low. But it's, uh, it never hurts to be cautious. Alright, so we're going to capture this friend. 55% chance for the capture. That's a second capture. There we go. That's good stuff. Alright, so we need to get rid of this guy. And I think we're just going to go all in on trying to be aggressive here. Because we need to make sure we can actually hit him. So first thing first... Roberts, you're going to run over this way and you're going to grenade his car. We have eight grenades on this mission. We can afford to waste them. Ooh. Eight damage sets the car on fire, but doesn't blow it up in one go. Well, we know he has to move now, so if nothing else, we can set up an overwatch and kill him that way. All right. Nabil has a 68% chance to finish him, which isn't amazing. If we move up with Jimenez here, we're all standing out in the open, which is a bad idea, but... I'm kind of counting on this guy dying, and there he goes. Excellent. So that's that dealt with. Nabil, you're gonna run over to this corner here. Excellent. Chen, you're gonna run over to this area. We need to heal up our assault next turn, so hopefully you'll be able to do that with no problems. Akoro, you are going to come stand over here for now. We should have a good sight line on everything up ahead like that. And Pollack, you're going to come stand over here and overwatch for me just in case something crazy happens. Alright, what are we looking at here? We got both of our maps captures already, which is real nice. 
car explosion thankfully doesn't hurt anybody. Alright, Berg, you're gonna move up to here and get healed, and then you're gonna move up again. Roger that. Alright, heal wound, go for it. Come on, you'll be back in the fight ASAP. Alright, so there's probably some nasty enemies in here from the sounds of it, but uh, we're just gonna have to wait and see exactly what we get pitted up against. There, now. there we go. Jimenez, you're gonna come join us on the car Hold here. We are going to take a Koro and grab this meld while we can. What is the meld looking like right now? It's been secured. Three. Wow. Alright, we are we are dominating these guys. They're only giving us three meld per canister, so we definitely have the situation under control here. Definitely, definitely. Alright, Chen, move up to here. Hallak, you're gonna come stand over here. Beal, you're gonna come stand by the trash bin. That might be bad because you'll get a new sight line over here, but we should be okay. Yeah, we're good. Is that everybody? No, it is not. Roberts, you need to move up. There's nowhere good to put you though, so I'm gonna stick you here behind the garbage can since you don't actually need line of sight since you're gonna probably be grenading people anyway. And then we overwatch, we overwatch, and we overwatch. Aliens are straight ahead in this building from the sounds of it. Let's see if they bust out this turn. Nope. Okay. Well, it's a lovely sound. Berg, take a look. Looks like there's nothing here in the alleyway for now. Let's take a better look. I'm on it, Commander. Yeah, it looks like there really is nothing out here for now. So we're gonna take you over to here, Berg. We should probably reload with you soon, but we're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna get ready for these guys. So, Nabil, you are gonna come stand beside Solid the subduction copy. pod. And you are going to steady aim. Chen, you're gonna move up Heading as well. And you're gonna overwatch. Overwatch. Yes, overwatch. Akoro, you are going to book it all the way over to here to be by this there. door. This is a double door though, so it doesn't matter too much, so we're setting up beside it because it's not gonna be give us it's not going to give us a perfect opportunity no matter what we do. Jimenez, you're gonna run over here beside the abduction pod. Alak, you're gonna come okay. over here by the garbage can. And you're gonna overwatch there. Last but not least, Aguda, you're gonna come join us by this door. So we have more people at the front if something does come out of there this turn. There's another meld canister in there that we can see right here. So that's awesome. Let's get ready for them. Sounds like they're over here now. Open the door. What do we see? Nothing yet? Alright. It's kind of to be expected. We can't quite make it to the door here with Berg, which is unfortunate. You want to be beside doors when you open them, not straight in front of them. Let's move Akoro up to the door then and move the opening with her. Clear to engage. Hello, Mechtoid. You're exactly what I was expecting in here. And I can't see you anymore, which is not great. Alright. Got a 59% chance to hit you, but that's still not very good. Aguda, you're gonna run into here for me. Actually, you're gonna run in right to the meld for me. Roger that. Alien Lightning reflexes. Sun. Just please don't blow up the wall. Well, there goes the wall. Alright, that might make it easier for us to hit this guy. Oh no, it actually blew up the wall only where the door is, so it didn't actually make it any more dangerous for us, which is nice. Do you have a chem grenade on you? No. You had a flashbang, we've already used it. Well then, we're gonna have to be in a... We're gonna be in a bit of trouble here then, because this could turn sour real fast. We're gonna want to run and gun with Berg, I think, to get in as close as possible so we can start laying down some hurt. But, uh, you're also out of ammo because I didn't reload with you yet. Definitely not our smartest assault here, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta live life on the edge. I'm on it, Commander. Let's move Roberts over to here. We're gonna run in with Jimenez all the way over to this wall. Because Zakoro, you can only see one target, so you're gonna shoot them. 
And you missed horribly. You only had a 59% chance to hit, so I'm not too Adjusting disappointed sight. there, but it's still not great. Jimenez, you're gonna run all the way over to here. Actually, are you? Taking them from this side might actually be better for us, because they won't be expecting us here. We have a good chance of getting them when they're not ready for us. Nabil, you're gonna run over to here as well, so we can get a good shot on them. Oh, hello, sectoid. Chen, you are going to... You're gonna go on this side. Alright, and... Uh... How else do we want to even want to do this? I have no idea what the best way to approach here is. We're kind of outgunned right now. This is not great. The fact that we only we rushed in too hard there. I should not have run all the way in with the Gouda. I'm tempted to run back. To get back into cover. Because the Gouda is going to get really shot up if we don't. Solid copy. It's not a great situation to be in, no matter what we do, but this makes it a little bit more likely that we survive. And we'll move in uh, Berg over to yes, here. Alright, so we're not in a great spot, but we should be okay. They shouldn't be able to all get to us this turn. They're probably going to mind meld the Mectoid, though. Mm, I am okay with this. Mind melding other Sectoids? Yes, please. Do that instead. Oh no! Mind Fray failed! Oh yeah! Iron Willed Nabil does not care for your mind phrase. Oh, hello! That's not good. Please don't have a shot left. No, I think we're good. Alright, that's actually okay. I mean, it's not great that it went to all of our non-combat people, because they're all in a different room. But, it could have been much worse. He ran right into us, which is good. He kind of ran straight into our trap. That's two suppressions, though. We're going to have to deal with those. Alright, Aguda, you're going to come clear out the first suppression here. Yes, Commander. Ping this guy right in the head. Wait, wait, what? No, he's dead. Okay, it was just a delayed death. Because those are things that are real. Um, Koro, I'm kind of tempted to bring you back over here and rapid fire this guy, so I don't know if we're going to use you for this. Berg, what we are going to do with you is you're going to run and gun and take this guy out for me. Because you can safely get back here. You have a ton of health in case you need to tank it. And you should be just fine. And that stops both of their suppressions, so we should be safe to move up that way. Nice 11 damage crit. Alright, you do not have rapid fire. You do have heat ammo, so this should hit hurt him pretty bad. Wait, wait, okay, you got him. For a second there, I thought you missed him. And I was about to be simply filled with fury. But you're okay. You don't have to die today. Alright, let's bring Okoro back to here and then rapid fire this sucker. Never mind, we can't see him from here. Okay. That's not as good. So, Polak, you're going to need to hit this guy as hard as you can. Five damage is not bad. You don't have heat ammo, so there's nothing else we can do about that. We just have to do as much damage with you as we possibly can. Chen, hit him as hard as you can. Four damage is not sufficient. Akoro, I really needed your shots here. Okay. Roberts, move up. You're going to have a weak shot, but you're going to take it anyway. Four damage is four damage, but we need to do four more damage before he's dead. You have an 80% chance to hit him, Nabil. I really don't want to take this shot with you, but I have to. And you make it. Okay, good. What I wanted to do... What I wanted to do real bad was to kill this sectoid with him. Because as far as I can tell, this guy'd be a pretty easy shot for him, but... Thus, it was not meant to be. Okoro, you're going to overwatch here in case that sectoid runs the corner somehow? You mind melding him again? Yeah, you are. Alright. That's fine by me. He's probably going to try another Psy attack on us. Hopefully he fails again. And that's kind of what I was worried about. He's getting closer. This is probably going to hit us if he shoots. Nope, he missed. We're good. No problems here. Alright, how's your aim at the guy in the back there, Nabil? 
63%, not amazing. Shoot him in the head anyway. Very nice. Very nice. Wow, and it insta-killed the other guy, even though he had 8 health. And that's the mission done! <laughs> wow, you can tell we are really stressing these guys' resources to a low. I mean, we're only getting 3 meld from the meld canisters, but they only had 2 pods in here. Very nice. And we got 2 captures out of that, too? That was a great mission. Crystal Hero is a success. Jeez. That was awesome. All right, what does that give us in the bank? That was basically perfect, actually. I, didn't leave anything I think that could have gone much better. Paid off. Excellent work, Commander. Yeah, that was awesome. All right, Roberts is now a tech sergeant, which means he's going to get his high explosive heat warheads. Berg has been promoted as well, which means he's probably going to get killer instincts, but he's got an interesting selection of skills. He's already got aggression. I don't know what else I'd really want to give him, though. We'll see. And Pollack has been promoted to Corporal. Congratulations. As an engineer, that means you're getting hollow targeting, since we only have offensive uh, engineers, and giving hollow targeting means that you're useful even if you can't throw grenades. Oh, it's a beautiful sight. One alien rifle, one alien heavy weapon, two alien grenades, doesn't matter. Five sectoid corpses, four muton corpses, two captives, one of each type, two olariums, six alien alloys, eight weapon fragments, eight melvin mectoid core. Good stuff. 90 credits and two less panic in Egypt. We will be in touch, Commander. It's a good day. We have 508 credits. I think what I'm actually going to do with these, I wasn't uh, thinking about it at the time, we're going to go to the officer training school and buy another tier of officers. We're going to buy field officers now. Confirm. And that way we might be able to promote some people. Do we have any majors we can promote yet? Looks like nobody is, is available for an officer promotion yet. They have to do five missions on their current rank before they can be promoted, so... Looks like none of the, the two who we have currently promoted can be promoted again. That's fine, though. Let's take a look at our captain billets. Can we make a captain? We can make a Koro a captain. That's probably a good idea. Alright, let's level up a Koro. So, we can give them... Ooh. Five defense when in cover, or additional damage reduction when in cover. Let's just give five defense flat. That seems like a good one. Congratulations, officer. You're now a captain. We have more lieutenant billets to give out. I should give out more of these. So giving out one of these captains, I don't think reduced any of these other ones. So it seems to me that it'd probably be a good idea to rank up more people into officers. But we'll wait a little bit longer. All right. That was a good use of some of that money. How is our actual facility looking? Morning, or our foundry projects? There's a lot of stuff we should be spending money on. Here. Do we have enough bodies yet for this? No. Probably because I keep capturing them. Um, Windtip Sparrowhawks might be nice, but it is 300 credits. Jelly Delirium is almost, almost a guaranteed get for me, though, so I'm going to buy this now. It's so good. Only four days to get more powerful flamethrowers. I love flamethrowers on our mechs. They're so powerful. Um, beyond that, there's not a whole else that I see in here that I immediately want. Advanced servo motors could be nice, because I think it gives us more mobility for our mechs. Shaped armor makes them have more health. Those are all so good, but I think for now we're going to leave them. Advanced surgery still needs more alien surgeries before we can do that. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. I'll let them know you've got another project ready for production. Hmm. We still need to build our Psy Lab. And we still need to build more Nexuses. But, uh... Overall, I don't know. We're looking pretty solid still. Yeah, we're at 10 out of 11. So in theory, we could launch one more satellite, but we have basically everywhere we would want already controlled. I'm thinking we might remove this satellite uplink and stick our Scilabs in here. Not that it really matters. We've got a pretty efficient base so far, and it doesn't look like they're going to penalize us at all with anything else here. I don't 
don't know. There's a lot of stuff we could be buying in here, and it makes it a little bit tricky to decide what we actually I want. I your efforts to support the research team, Commander. We can't I've do a sectoid commander autopsy yet. We need lab. more corpses. I could do EMP weapons or advanced plasma weapons, but, I mean... That's a lot of resources for something we haven't even started building yet, so I'm just going to leave that alone for now, I think. How many... This is, this is a good thing to look up for us for now. How many actual alien rifles do we have? We only have three. So if we do that research, it will use up all of our alien rifles. So that's not so good. We have eight alien carboines and five alien pistols, but only three actual alien rifles. Okay. Well then, that is that is something to be aware of, because that might be a problem later. Hmm. I definitely think I have this more alien... What do you mean you think you saw a Some things? No, I only have 12. Have okay, we're good. Anything? Never mind. Alright, so I think this is probably going to be where we end this episode then. A little bit of humming and hawing in the base here is always useful. But uh, for now, I think we're going to leave it. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some more XCOM Enemy Within Long War for you here. Having a pretty darn nice mission go down where we captured some more aliens. If you enjoyed it, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, bye-bye.